Hi everyone, welcome to Belly Strong and week 12 of pregnancy. This is our 10 minute core workout for this week. Just a reminder to subscribe uh, if you want to know when our other videos are out and check out some of our other workouts for this week on our YouTube channel. So we're going to start in sitting with a bit of mobility work first. So hands can come behind the thighs and we're going to start with some pelvic tilts. So rounding that lower spine and coming back up. So most of the movement is really just happening at the low back. So a lot of people in the population tend to suffer with enough back pain without pregnancy, but it can get worse during pregnancy because of those lax ligaments. So we're trying to mobilize that lower spine, which does tend to get quite stiff before we start to strengthen. Okay, so we're going to hold that last pelvic tilt here and go into some roll downs. So as we roll down so towards the mat, we're trying to lay our spine onto the mat one segment at a time from bottom of the spine to the top. It's nice and controlled and come back up. So the aim is not to get as low as possible, although that is great. It's control. So we pelvic tilt. We've got tension in those abdominals and we're controlling that lower onto the mat bottom of the spine to the middle of the spine to the top and exhale as you come up I find the exhale really helps to get up if this is nice and easy for you bring your hands forwards take away that hand support and we keep going with a nice slow control lower and we exhale to come back up we're going to do one more. So round. And if you only get here, just hold it here for a bit. You don't have to get all the way down to the mat for a try. It's more about correct form and control. And up. We're then going to pelvic tilt. Only go down about a quarter of the way, half of the way, and hold this position here. We're going to go into some arm reaches. So you're going to reach behind you on a diagonal and then reach forward and switch. Behind you on a diagonal and switch. My spine is still in that C curve position or that pelvic tilt. Shoulders are relaxed and legs are also fairly relaxed. So I'm not holding any tension in my hip flexors. We're going to do three more. Two more. And one more. Last one, we're going to hold here. Palms come down and in this position, we're just going to pump those arms up and down as we maintain that C curve hold. The higher you are, the easier. The lower you are, remember that pelvic tilt, the more difficult. I'm going to stay somewhere in the middle today. And we're going to keep pulsing for 15 more seconds. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. We're going into our back arm reaches, but this time we're adding an opposite foot touch. Back to center. Back arm reach, touch the opposite toe. Still maintaining that C curve. We're nice, still and stable in that lower back. If you need a little bit of support, come up a bit higher and you can support the leg with one of your arms. Or just keep with the arm reaches and don't bother about lifting the leg and build up to this. Two more. Reach. Last one. We're then going to roll onto the mat like we did at the beginning for our next exercise. You may need to shift yourself a little bit down the mat like I do. I'm going to work on our glutes here. So in this position, make sure you start in neutral spine. We do have a video on that. 
As you exhale, feel your ribs flatten so my abdominals are activated. We're going to start with that pelvic tilt. Peel our spine up off the floor into a bridge. In this position, try not to let go of the abs. We want to keep those tummy muscles engaged. I'm going to lift my right foot up into some single leg bridges. Down and up. We're going to do eight of these. And in the first trimester, this early on, it's still okay to lie on your back. During late stage pregnancy, it gets a bit difficult to lie on your back. And if you are feeling dizzy or faint, maybe you should avoid these positions. And last one. I'm going to hold this one and pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other foot comes down and we do the opposite side. And we start with a hip tap and up. So glutes are really important to provide stability around the pelvis during pregnancy because we're getting those lax ligaments because of the hormones circulating automatically decrease that pelvic stability and strengthening helps to combat that. Let's do one more. Hold 10 pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back down and roll that spine back onto the mat. You can give those knees a bit of a hug. Rotate those hips for a bit of a release. Before we get into the next exercise, where feet come back down. This time we're lifting the upper half of our body. So get into that neutral pelvis position. Flatten those ribs. As you exhale, head comes up. And the lift comes from here, not from here. And we're reaching for each angle as we move into mini side bends with an ankle touch. Try not to let those legs wave from side to side. And if your neck is feeling a little bit of strain, you can have hand behind the head and switch from side to side. Now you can tell by my shaky voice that I'm finding this a little bit challenging. Reach, reach six more for six, five, four, three, two, one, and we lay that head back down and just roll that neck from side to side to give it a little bit of a release. Okay, back into neutral spine position. So we might have a little bit of a gap in that lower back and flatten those ribs. Open that chest, we're going to bring one leg to 90 degrees, other leg is going to follow and we're moving into toe taps. So I'm going to tap one toe down to the mat and up and switch. So during this exercise, I want you to make sure that your lower back is not moving off of the mat as you do it. We want to keep everything from hips up completely still. And you can make this more challenging by lengthening that leg as you tap down. And you can make it even more challenging by bringing yourself up into a curl and taking those legs down one at a time. I'm gonna do 10 more of those. Remember nothing from hips up is moving. Keep breathing. All about control. Almost there. Four more. And three. And two. Last one. And head down. And we're going to go into a full body stretch. Arms above your head, legs straight. Let those ribs release and just let everything stretch out. Let go of it all as you inhale and exhale. 
and inhale and exhale and you can slowly make your way back into sitting and that is our core workout for today check out some of our other videos for this week to keep you fit and healthy and we'll see you next time on belly strong